Hey guys, what's up? A lot of you were asking for some urban edits and now we have some pretty awesome shots and work by Andrew Optics here. So if you guys like his work, you can go give him a follow down in the description. All of his links will be down there for you guys. So we are going to be trying to recreate these really golden tones, quite a bit of contrast, quite a bit of fade to these images. So we're going to be working with this one right here. So let's get into Lightroom, see what we can do. And he also offers his presets and prints here. So definitely go check those out if you like his work. So yeah, let's get into Lightroom to create something like this. Here's our raw image we're working with. And if I show you guys the cropping, you can see we've cropped in quite a bit there, four by five. So we'll start by chucking in quite a bit of warmth. We will bring up some exposure and I just want to drop down the highlights because we are losing a lot of that detail back there. I'm going to bring down the highlights a lot. Now I'm just going to do a rough amount of editing here. Just real roughly because maybe take out a bit of contrast because I'm going to add in a lot with the curves. So just real rough up here and then add in quite a bit of contrast with the curves because we want the curves. They give way more control with colors. So especially in the shadows and this one is going to really allow us to get the colors we want in the shadows so i'll do the curves now and then i'll try to explain what i've done Okay, so that's the curves done. I'll just explain what I did. So I've been through this edit before. I've got a good idea of what I'm going to do to achieve this look. So what I did is I wanted to do an S curve in the red, green and blue channel to get those deep tones and position the colors where I wanted. So as you can see, I just started off with a normal curve and then took out a lot of red from the shadows and blacks there and I did the same with the green but I didn't for the blues I left a bit more of the blues in there because I want to leave a lot more blues in the shadows because you guys will probably see later on I didn't find I could add enough warmth with the split toning so this is another way to get blues and different colors into your shadows so you'll see later on when I add more warmth with the split turning I'll add a lot of a lot of warmth with the split turning but I'll still have cool shadows because I did it up here with the curves so yeah by taking green and red out of the shadows you're only left with blue so that's what will be in the shadows even though I didn't add any in, I'm still actually taking a little bit away. I just took away a lot more out of the red and greens. Okay, so just coming back up here, we'll tweak a few things. Taking down the highlights, you can see that detail. We get it back, get back our detail back there. Um, I'm going to add in a bit of a vignette to this image. So I'm going to bring up the shadows for now. And then I'll darken down here and the sides a little later. Whites maybe can come down. It's looking pretty bright back there. And the blacks aren't looking too bad. clarity so I think there's quite a bit of a crispness to this image 
and uh, vibrance. I think there's quite a bit of vibrance. Okay, so we'll do some quick obvious adjusting with these HSLs. So it's pretty obvious we want our yellows to be way more orange and our oranges to be even more orange. Um, our reds, we may be getting a bit too red in some places. We'll try. Uh, We'll put reds about there. We'll slide oranges back. We'll actually go this way and we'll rely on our yellows to give us those orange tones. Uh, and then we obviously want our greens desaturated. I'm just going to take them all the way. They look like they're completely gone back there. And um, that's sort of the obvious ones. Could maybe drop the luminance of those greens. They look pretty dark. Now I'll jump into split toning to get, we'll try to get these real, all the main tones, those orange warm tones now. So let's start with the highlights. So that's the that's the highlights, just on and off of the highlights, big difference there. Now if we do the shadows, I'm gonna add the opposite, opposite color again. As you can see, we're a bit warm in our darker areas. So let's put a bit in there. And now we look a little too blue in the shadows. And say the shadows are like these areas here. And then we've got the blacks in here. And I find he has pretty warm shadows, but the blacks keep a bit of blue in them. So it's kind of tricky. And one way you can do this, you can start to let some of the highlights, the tint of the highlights into the shadows more. So if you go all the way across, you're just adding the same of this into the shadows, but we'll give a favor to the highlight colors and we'll put a little bit of that into the shadows and then it should stop but before it gets to the blacks so we'll go with that for now i will add in some a bit of a vignette to help our eye guide into the center of the image because we've got so many of these awesome leading lines going just straight down into the center of this image got this one down here there 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 all all along there it's really really awesome shot so grab a filter I want to feather it out a lot. See how that goes. And I'll drop the highlights just to keep those really dark areas. I don't want to lower the shadows or the blacks anymore 
because then it will start to get a bit too dark. So I'll drop those highlights. And then I'm going to do the same for the sides. Let's drop down the highlights. Let's duplicate that, drag it onto this side, flip it around. Okay. Just double check what side I'm affecting. Might just, just make it a bit skinnier. Okay, so like I said before, we've got some really awesome leading lines, and then that vignette around the edge sort of just adds to it. Just sort of helps your eye even more follow these lines into the center of the image and we'll just put in a bit of a vignette a normal vignette just a bit i think that helps out a lot right so how about some sharpening i want to do quite a bit of sharpening let's go about there. Um, we could move on to some filters in that now. We don't need any grain. Don't need profile corrections. Let's move on to so we've got this nice bright area back here. Let's brighten that up. So invert it to affect the inside. And then remove the red area so you can see what you're doing. And it looks like we want a whole lot of warmth shooting from this area. Some extra exposure. And some, maybe some highlights. And maybe some whites for the punch. And then to give a softness to it, you can add in some haze. Just a little bit, just softens things up. And then if there's not enough color, put some saturation in there. Okay, so let's move on. We've got a few greens. I don't know what that... Yeah, I think they're blues. We'll do HSL and we'll just try to fine tune all of these colors. So get our oranges and greens right. So um, let's start with So we've got some aquas. I think they're looking pretty purple. Get a bit of purple up there but they're definitely a bit more desaturated so I'll take them down blues Um, we could maybe drop the saturation of some of the oranges. Red. 
upgrades could stay out there a bit. Oranges, so I think they're looking pretty deep. Just a little bit, so I'll drop that. Get some deep orange tones. Yellows can stay there. Give a little bit to these, I guess. Purple's going on. Right, so. I think we're, we're looking pretty good. Let's do a bit of brushing. So. Let's grab. So, brush. Bracket key to make your brush a bit bigger. We just want to make our subject stand out much more, so let's brush all over. And let's sharpen. As you can see, if you look around her hair especially, I think there's a lot of sharpness to it. And a bit of extra clarity to really help pop. And I might drop the blacks a bit. Just because I find, I find her hair looks very dark. Might change that later. Um, brush. Let's do another just for her face. And what I want to do is drop the contrast. Because dropping the contrast will, will give the appearance of this real nice soft light on her face. So, because if there's lots of contrast, it kind of looks like harsh light is hitting you. Drop the contrast. It looks The light looks softer. And then we're looking maybe a little uh, yellow or orange. So if we just add in a bit of purple... Should give back some normal tones to the skin. And then I might even go with a bit of sharpness to the face again. Okay, looks good. Let's zoom in here. You can see she's re he's really made her eyes stand out a lot. So let's... Let's... Let's do around the eyes first, so I'm going to go over her eyelashes, a bit of her eye, eyebrows. I'm going to drop the blacks. And up the sharpness. And clarity. Maybe not so much clarity because it broadens it a bit. Let's go with that. And I want another brush because when you add in a lot of warmth to the image, you make the whites kind of warm 
So that's what's happened with her pupils as well. So her eyes look quite unnaturally yellow. Because we warmed up the color of the sky and stuff, but we don't want it to be happening to her eyes. So let's, you can, so to get rid of the yellows, you just add in some cool tones and let's go with some exposure and her pupils should go very, very white. So if we zoom out, let's see how that looks. Looks better. I think they might look a little too blue. Yeah, might go with that. So, yeah, I don't see too much else different with the image. So here's it without the curves. You can see curves play a really big role in this one. So you get the contrast with the color curves. You get quite a bit of color. You get the blues and the shadows and blacks by taking out the reds and the greens and then we've got this real strong fade with this curve here. And yeah, I'll probably just leave it there guys. Maybe a bit more, bit, bit more of a difference. Maybe take out a bit more contrast to her face, making that light look even softer. Bracket key, make your brush bigger, smaller. And I think I'll just take away the black we put in around her hair. I think it's just getting a bit too dark around there. I think that looks pretty close guys. I'll probably just leave it there. So you guys can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll put all of his links down there for you guys. And if you guys are liking these tutorials, check out the presets. There's honestly a ton of value in there. It's just all the best presets I've held on to throughout these tutorials or just what I've made in the past. So I'm really loving the feedback you guys are giving from those. So check them out if you're liking these tutorials. And... Yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. That way I can go reach out to them on Instagram. They can send in a photo and I'll do a tutorial on them. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.